He says to Jesus, Teacher, what good thing can I do to be sure when I die, I'll go to heaven? That's a very interesting and important question. Seeing today we live life for the moment and the present. The thing that makes teenagers and young people a little bit difficult to handle is because they live in the present. They don't understand the future and the past has already happened. So they live for the present. So it is not strange that this young man would approach Jesus with this kind of an inquiry. Teacher, good master, what must I do to be sure that when I die, I'll go to heaven? It's also interesting to note that the young man invoked the conversation. Jesus did not approach him according to the text. He approached Jesus, which suggests to us he had already given careful thought as to what might transpire on his demise. The conversation continues as Jesus gives him a reply. Listen to Jesus' reply. Jesus said, if you want to go to heaven, do what God tells you to do. Let's tweak it and make it more feasible for us. Jesus answered him and said, If you want to go to heaven, if you want eternal life, then you must live your life like the Bible teaches you. Lord have mercy. It's not a trick question. It doesn't have a hidden agenda. It's good for young people and old people alike. If you want to go to heaven, Lord have mercy, then live your life according to the principles, standards, and rules of the Bible. That's it. And I can assure you that heaven will belong to you. Lord have mercy. If you live your life as the Bible says, then you can rest assured at the end of your life you will see not only heaven, but Jesus himself. The conversation continues by the young man asking another question. He says to Jesus, according to the Message Bible, anything or any things in particular that I need to know if I'm going to heaven when I die? I love Jesus because Jesus always has a ready answer. In your, in your leisure this week, continue reading the story. Jesus answers the young man's questions with a series of statements. He says statement number one, don't murder. Don't murder. They're going to put a slide up in a minute. Don't murder. Which rules out all these crazy shootings, drive-by schoolhouses, malls, because you depressed. If you want to go to heaven, then don't kill nobody. You ain't the only depressed person in the world. They didn't give you a license to go buy a gun and murder somebody. He said, if you want to go to heaven, don't kill nobody. I got a little something for you. And not only don't murder them with a physical weapon, don't murder them with your mouth. Shut your mouth. Shut your mouth. Because some of you got too much mouth. If you want to go to heaven, don't murder. He keeps on talking to the young man. He says, if you don't want, if you want to go to heaven, then don't commit adultery. 
Well, let's just tweak that and make it good for your age. You know, new age, general age. Let's just say don't have no premarital sex. Oh, I'm not scared of you. If you want to go to heaven, then keep your skirt down and your pants up. Easy. And it took us a minute to find this caption, but I want the young folk to read this. Read what it says. Now that you ask, why y'all talk so low? Why y'all talking so low? Now read it like you can understand English. Read it. Now that you ask, I do use. No sex. Well, I need the mamas and the daddies to clap because you know the kids ain't going to clap. No sex. No sex with condoms. No sex. No oral sex. No sex. You asked me to preach your last fat Sunday. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for asking me. Thank you. He answers. I'm almost through, really. He answers. Maybe not quite. He answers. The young man's question, because he said anything in particular. Jesus said, yeah. No murdering. No adultery. Then he says, don't steal. It's, it's in there. It's in the Bible. Don't steal. Don't steal nothing. Don't have, you can't see it too good. Can y'all dim the lights so they can see real good? Do it like we do the video. Dim it a little bit. Okay, don't steal. Up in the corner, they got guns. Y'all know what that is. And then there's a, there's a guy, see, he, 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 he taking the, the art off the wall. And there's Miss Shoplifting Sassy. Y'all know how you wear them tennis shoes out the store? He said, don't steal. If you want to go to heaven when you die, don't take anything that doesn't belong to you. Don't take it out your mama's pocketbook. Don't take it out your daddy's pants. Don't steal. He said, Anything in particular? Jesus said, yeah. Don't steal. Don't have premarital sex. Don't kill nobody. Then he said, don't lie. It's right there. You read it. Don't lie. Don't lie. Tell the truth, even if it's going to get you in trouble. If you want to go to heaven when you die, don't lie. No kind of lie. Don't fabricate. Don't leave out the important part. Because you know, they give you a whole lot of information and they don't mean nothing. They're just talking. The whole, well, you know, I was trying to get there when I got there. The, 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 I was trying to get the bus and I missed. Just stop it. Tell the truth. And sometimes telling the truth is going to get you in trouble. But if you want to go to heaven when you die, don't lie. You know, and, and my grandson, he got a, he, he, he was got a, he got a, he, he don't, he, he don't call it lying. He said it was an accident. I ain't going to tell you which one. He said, he said, well, I, I accidentally. How you going to accidentally? Because if you know it's an accident, then you know what you were doing. Therefore, 